are you laughing? That was a letdown. <laughs> Auto tweet. Yeah. Is it on already? Find out in a second. We've actually been live for five minutes. Hooray. Something like that awesome is gonna happen. Of course it would. Okay, we're on the internet. We are? No, we are on the internet. We really are? Yep. Oh, yay! Hello, friends. Hello! But, oh, other side. Hello. I'm your image. Hi! Alright. So, I'm Annette. I am Dance Central Community Manager. And uh, joining me is... Uh, I'm Jim Topol. I was a designer at Dance Central, too. So, today we're going to do a live Q&A with Jim, and we're going to have Chanel, one of our choreographers, come in in a couple minutes. So, stay tuned for that. Um, so, just to kind of explain what we're doing here. Um, I had asked uh, fans on Facebook and on Twitter um, to throw us some questions about Dance Central 1 and Dance Central 2. So today I will be asking Jim and Chanel some questions that you guys had about both of the games. So it's going to be really awesome. Yay! Excited. So exciting. So, um, so a couple things. One of the questions was, when will the next um, Batch of Songs be announced for Dance Central 2? This week we actually announced seven new songs for Dance Central 2 at TGS. So we have, let's see, um, Reach by Atlantic Connection and Armani Rain. Uh, Mary J. Blige's Real Love, good song, good song. Uh, Chingy's Right There, Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On, Kevin Little's Turn Me On, New Boys' You're a Jerk, and Remy Ma's Conceited. So that's the latest batch of songs we've announced for Dance Central 2. And we'll have, I think we'll have another batch leading up a little closer to launch. So in the meantime, that should hold you over. Um, so we'll have 40 plus songs on disc and you can import your D, uh, DC1 tracks plus DLC for more than 100 songs at launch. So that's huge, it's exciting. So get hyped. Um, let's see, um, another question you guys had was, you're curious about the mystery crew at the end of the Gamescom cinematic that we had. Also had a few questions about campaign mode. So we're not talking about those quite yet. So sorry guys. Um, but we'll definitely be talking about that pretty soon, so just kind of hang out, be patient, and you'll definitely find out more about that. But lots of exciting news there, so you'll be, you'll be excited. I'm super excited Are for campaign excited? mode. So well, and this, but I'm super excited for campaign. So that's awesome. So we're going to check out the chat and see if anyone's kind of hanging out. In the meantime, we'll answer the last question, which is, when does Dance Central 2 come out? Um, so these are some of like the more basic questions. So Dance Central 2 comes out in the States on October 25th, so mark your calendar. Um, we have the, so it'll be October 25th in the U.S., Canada, and Latin America for all the Brazilian fans out there if you guys are watching, hey! Um, and then in Europe and Asia on October 21st, and Japan on October 27th. So next month's going to be huge, lots of Dance Central 2 goodness, so get excited. Um, all right, so now we're going to ask Jim some questions because he's been hanging out. Mm -hmm. And been super patient. So I guess the uh, first question that one of our fans had asked is, what inspired the creation of Dance Central? Well, I we and I Matt has gone into this Matt Bach, uh, our lead designer on mm -hmm. Dance Central too. He's gone into this quite a bit. Uh, they we've always wanted to do a dance game here at Harmonix, and I remember back when we were ramping up on. Uh, the Rock Band 3 produ uh, hardware production team, that's the team I was working on at the mm -hmm. time, he uh, he was kind of moonlighting on this mysterious dance prototype team. And he was really excited about it because he wanted to, he's, uh, he's always wanted to, he's been convinced of the transformative power of pop music for a long time. Like, there's a whole bunch of music that was kind of not off limits to you know to rock band because I mean we certainly have some like Lady Gaga DLC and, and other things available but but we, he wanted to make a game that was all about pop music that was all about having like having fun and uh, enjoying that you know pop music and dancing and it just kind of came naturally that I think the first time that uh, he got back from the meeting where they had shown him connect his his eyes were just you know wide eyed he was just wide eyed and really excited at the prospect of being able to make a game for that platform. That's super exciting, and everyone obviously loves Dance Central, so everyone watching that loves it, thank you. Um, so, another question is, I guess, how is the experience working on the original Dance Central sort of inspiring the design changes that, is, that are coming to Dance Central 2? Hmm, um, let's see. You know, I think, oh, and Chanel's coming into and the Chanel's room right now. Chanel's coming in, her timing is Excellent. Right. 
Hey, Chanel. Hey, everybody. Chanel looks fabulous, by the oh, way. Oh, that is Sorry, awesome. Sorry, you guys. We got a jam You can actually, like, I got to stand on top of my ball. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Let's put on over. Hey, everybody. We're kicking it to the floor yeah, now. I'm, I'm oh, no. Oh. Okay, How are they going to see you? Um, yeah. You can look over there or over here and find out where we're at. Um, so, oh, the question was, um, how did our experience on Dance Central 1 influence, uh, you know, kind of what we did for Dance Central 2? I, I remember reading a lot of the reviews for Dance Central 1, and they kind of all went along the same lines of, like, this is a great Connect experience, but it feels like, a, 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 like the content of the game was a little light. And, you know, that was something we, we focused on intentionally in the original Dance Central, uh, that we wanted to make that core experience as good as possible. And we spent all of our time making sure that, you know, the sensor was reading you properly, that we had great choreography, that our animation was spectacular. And that's where we really put, you know, all of our development efforts. And, and this time around with Dance Central 2, we had learned so much from the first development cycle that um, we were able to kind of start with that as a baseline and use our extra time and our development, pr you know, development time to fill out the game, to add a story mode, which, you know, we're going to be talking about later and add extra types of game experiences, like Dance Battle this time around is, is much more exciting with the addition of the free-for-all minigame and a you know, bunch of cool stuff like that. And in addition, like the whole time we're learning about new stuff with the, you know, the Kinect technology. Um, instead of having to learn how to just detect people, now we can start working with voice control and adding that into the game. And It's kind of all of this like building process, and, and we, we really wanted to fill out this game this time around and give tons and tons of content to the players. handle this one it's it's kind of like a little bit little bit of design and a little bit of choreo and, and we, we loved the way that worked in dance central one um, and we've kept that in dance central two it's like there's a default character for every song um, it's kind of related to the the choreographer of the song isn't, yeah. isn't it um, yes yeah, so like Frenchie is for, more, for the most part she will be Aubrey from Miss Aubrey if it's a more Laid back, with sexual, uh, sex sexy-ish type of girly-ish mm -hmm. move. They always make it like a um, a Frenchie. If it's like kind of a b-boy but a little bit like um, pop swag, then they make it mo. Um, if it's like you know a little bit street kind of a uh, I don't know urban R&B-ish type of hip hop swag, they make it like a tech. And if they have, well, when Dara was here, she was like the pop international club girl. So it, I think it's based on like, which was, I was a, I was a Dara a lot of the time. So like for Delicious or like uh, the Freak and that type of thing. Um, so they do go by like choreography. This time around, if it's more sporty, it'll be a Bow. Mm -hmm. Like Bodie, excuse me, that's my nickname for Bodie. Bo. <laughs> Sorry. Chanel you have Bodie. a problem. I love Bodie. <laughs> Come on. Bodie's cute. We're, we're definitely red kind. I like Amelia. <laughs> <Amelia's laughs> and, and sometimes, well, for the most part, I'm Amelia because um, I'll do my cheerleading jumps. So, you know, I, I'm more, I like to be more athletic with my choral. So, yes, uh, they do assign songs based on the choreographer most of the time mm -hmm. and what they're doing, what the movement is. I mean, nothing set in stone. Like we can make some slight adjustments when we need to. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, basically, like a character is one of our real life choreographers, and that's been really important in our characterization of these characters. As as we work with these choreographers, we have so many distinct styles of dance that they kind of imbue the characters with this own like new sense of self and this this like, a sense of individuality that we're really excited. And since we're kind of talk, we talked a little bit about choreography, um, like how are choreographers chosen for the Dance Central franchise? Like how did you get involved? How did you get picked for the wow. role? Well, the audition? Yeah. 
Well, I knew Frenchie, and I've been working with her. We said it's like my sister. She's the godmom to my mother, to my daughter. I'm the godmother to her, to be. So uh, we've been working together maybe, I want to say, the last six or seven years. So she said, I have a project that I can, I really can't tell you about, but I want you to work out, work on it. You know, like, I, we always tell each other about mm -hmm. our projects. And she's like, I can't tell you. Every time she would talk about it, I can't tell you. Mm -hmm. So she, it was basically me knowing her and her knowing my style, my capabilities in terms of what this game is going to be about, what this project is about. She knew I could be a part of it in a way where I could take you, um, the, the concepts or the instruction and say, hey, this is what we need you to do. And uh, sh I came in and I auditioned, and she had prepped me a little bit as to what I couldn't do. No floor movement. So we put a floor movement in it. A little bit. He did, got us falling in love. Um, and, you know, just certain things that you couldn't you couldn't do because of the connect, mm -hmm. um, breaking skeleton or whatever. So um, I auditioned. I was nervous. I was scared. But I went in there, and I was like, you know what? Let's do this. If you're a dancer, you should be able to be challenged and come through. So I auditioned and I got the game. And I love it. So which songs did you actually choreograph for uh, Dance and Show 1? And on disc, I got Come On Ride the Train. And then on DLC, I got Since There It Is, The Freak, which is my favorite. I love that song. <laughs> Fergalicious, too. Fergalicious, Hollaback. Um, Break your heart. Um, there's yeah, I'm trying not to say what I'll say because <laughs> I'm like I don't want to get mixed up. But um, but for the most part, yeah. Fergalish is hollow back. Miss there it is. Break your heart. with freak. Mm -hmm. um, control. So, yeah. You want to tell um, everybody watching like what it's like choreographing a song from like the time you get it assigned to you. Oh, like just right now. Yeah. Um, as you guys see me like running mm -hmm. from one space to the next, um, Dan K yeah. see me running. He's like laughing because he see me like mm -hmm. running from Naoko's, um, our producer's um, office in, to here. And it's literally like I want um, this time around. Um, well, before I, I researched, but this time around, I wanted to. If it's a specific song, I want to take it back to where we were at that particular time. Um, so if we want to give an example of song, songs that's been announced as, as of now, Baby Got Back. Whatever we were doing at that particular time, I want everybody to be doing. Like, if it was, you know, The Running Man, which we all were, most of us that dance, most of us that want to dance still were doing it, um, I wanted to bring back that, be refreshed, like, it's 92, June of whatever mm -hmm. date, 92, it came out, we're in Baby Got Back, mm -hmm. be in that zone. So I'll research the song, research the artist, go on a bunch of YouTubes. Um, for La Freak, I really did that. Because if anybody knows, La Freak was in 78. Yeah. 1978. That so Bernard so Edwards bass line is as good as it gets. And I you can that. find, I, could, I can honestly tell you that I could not find a uh, video. Because there was Studio 54 at that time. That there was, was no, nothing. no video at that particular time. So it was kind of difficult, but to get back to what, what my mother was doing. And, you know, so I research um, the artist, you know, make sure that we're not doing anything from the video, obviously. And then I go and see what I want to do movement-wise, body-wise, from what I want guys and girls to be doing. Because most of the songs I would love to put, you know, see a guy mm -hmm. do it. I'd love to see a girl do it. And I also think about the age gap. I put a lot of search in my, like, research into my stuff, so. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then, like, one of the biggest parts of uh, Dance Central 2 is, like, even bigger focus on the characters this time around. Mm -hmm. um, so, and a lot of our characters from Dance Central 1 have, like, developed, like, such a huge fan base. <laughs> we get so much character art. So thank you for everyone who's done cosplay and character art. It's been awesome. If you have any more... Um, pieces or pictures you want to send our way, please do it. We love to see that stuff. That Bodhi glitch picture from yeah. PAX was amazing. Yeah, I think the characters haven't yeah. even been out yet. I think I saw Glitch say that he was watching. Glitch yeah, he watched. Hi, Glitch! Spectacular.
Thank you so much for doing that. It's a handmade shirt. Yay! <laughs> yes. It's awesome. The Thank whole, you so much. The whole time through pre-production, I need to get that shirt. I need to get my hands <laughs> on that shirt. And someone beat me to it. Yes. That was totally awesome. Yeah. So we were so excited to see them do it, Zach, because we were like, wait a minute. Aren't they dressed as, Bo as Bodie and Bodie? No Bo way. They are. OMG. So we're super psyched. So thank you guys so much. Um, That's awesome. So with that said, um, but yeah, so the characters are a pretty huge deal, and everyone's sort of like getting pretty attached to them. Um, but one question is, like, why can't we create our own characters, like in Rock Band? What's going on? Yeah, a lot of people ask me that, and, and there there are a number of reasons, some technical and some kind of like uh, just preferential on our part. Um, for one, I don't, there aren't too many other games out there that do as many animations on a character as we do. Uh, you know, every new DLC song can have new animations that that character needs to be able to do, including their outfit and any other jewelry and hair physics that they have going on, and that gets really expensive really quickly. Mm -hmm. If we were to, you know, if if we were to go down a custom character route, I think it would be it, like we wouldn't be able to do as much flavor in the characters visually as we do now. Like no, no, you know, f I think Mo has his cool little jacket hanging off his head now. We wouldn't be able to do fun stuff like that uh, as easily. And um, then there's some other, you know, there's some other considerations that we have. You know, in Rock Band, we we did have a character creator and. Uh, the story for Rock Band and the narrative that basically needed to let you either be a new wave pop princess or the like the, the rock under god of heavy metal and still fit within that story. And you know, it, we wanted to try something a little different with the Dance Central Universe. You have a very specific story, uh, and that required actual characters to kind of kind of tell that story. Um, and then there's the other there's the other thing the other conceit we've been kind of running around is that you are not actually in the game. Oh, look, you're in the game, but if you were to make a character, that not, that isn't necessarily you. Like you're not dancing as Amelia or Bodie or Glitch. Like you're dancing with them, and that's that's an interaction we really want to kind of continue pushing. This fact that with with Connect it, it creates this interesting space where you're not it isn't a game and a TV anymore. Like you're kind of in the game. Uh, in a different manner than if you were to create uh, your own avatar. They're basically talking to you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're amping you up. Like you're part of it. They're, they're accepting you and they're food for things. Yeah, like and and we really wanted to tell the story from that perspective. But as if you had been dropped into this fictional dance pair, dance awesome space. So who's uh, your guys' favorite characters? No Chanel. Uh, I like Glitch. I like I like Glitch. Um, you know, Amelia. Amelia is my girl. She, was, I think, she was the first one we had running in this mm -hmm. game, so we spent the most time with Amelia. Uh, but I, I love Glitch's test pattern shirt, uh, the whole high down <laughs> outlook, like look. That's totally awesome. I'm psyched for Glitch. And um, both ki the two the two little ones, Glitch and Little T, had some of the best outro lines in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody watching, tell us who your favorite characters are in the chat. And we'll continue, but in the meantime, we want to see what you guys think. So, um, oh, I said McCoy. Yeah. I love McCoy too. He's awesome. There, glitch. Oh, with Woo. the tear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people love like McCoy, McCoy's grandmother. Like there's, <laughs> there's so much cool little character flavor you get when when we have these specific characters. Right? I, love like, I was gonna dress up like her for Halloween. Yeah. What happened? Uh, we haven't had it yet. <laughs> well, this year. Oh, this year? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Glitch. Bodhi. Awesome. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, song selection. So, the time soon we have all sorts of song rollouts, mm -hmm. and we still have plenty more, so, you know, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, everyone wants to know how Harmonix goes about choosing songs for Dance Control. Well, I know that I request them. I'm like, hey, Nay. You know, short for Naoko. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, um, I would love to dance to Olive Bad Girl. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, I love Fur Delicious. And mm -hmm. when they kind of submit it, like when they say, hey, this song is available, do you think? At first we used to pick some songs. Mm -hmm. Then they started divvying them out, like according to your style. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I definitely wanted Baby Got Back. I requested mm -hmm. Baby Got Back for like a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I want Baby Got Back. So that's for like yeah. when you get a sign song, right? Yeah. Okay, so for the actual game, like, you know, 
say people want a specific song really bad, like how did, what's the process going into actually like acquiring, you know, when you like the music for the song and getting it into the game? Because it's not as easy as you think. We can't just say, hey, we really want party rock anthem and boom, yeah. it's in the game. Like that doesn't work like that. So how does, how does it work? Is that, is that our muse? Yes, that is our muse. People of Alabama Bayo is Dance Central's muse. So there's a there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of steps. First off, like the team goes around and gathers songs that that we like, or you know we have I, I was Humpty Dance, Humpty Dance, Humpty Dance, Humpty Dance, Humpty Dance. I kept on emailing Naoko. Um, and you know, like those are like vanity songs. But at the same time, we, you know, we want to cover top 40, top 100. We want to go through, make sure that there's a there's a little bit of everyone throughout the generations mm -hmm. and genres. Uh, and then once we come up with a huge list. Uh, usually we take them to a couple people and they, they have some meetings and, and see, you know, some, some artists that we want, we can't, you know, we can't necessarily get, you know, there's, there's a big music licensing uh, system that has to happen. Some people don't, you know, some people are locked into exclusive agreements, some people, you know, don't necessarily want their music used in games, which is totally fine. Um, but, you know, we have to find the stuff that makes sense for our game. Uh, additionally, like, we kind of been picking songs according to the personalities of the of the crew, um, <laughs> they're asking you to do moves. That's <laughs> awesome. So we've been picking songs, like going after songs that match the personality of the crews this time. Uh, that made a lot of sense, and it just it just takes a, it's a long, arduous, legal, uh, creative, fun process, and it's it's never over till it's over, and and there's it's never a no until it's a no, and it's mm -hmm. never a yes until it's a yes. So gotta keep asking. Yeah. I know I asked the baby, like, I said, my mom really wants mm -hmm. baby got back. <laughs> that was last yeah. year. And then Nail goes like, well, we're going to try and see if we can get it. And then I was like, hey, Dave, do you think we can get uh, baby got back? And then, boom, it mm -hmm. popped up. Yeah. And, and it's like I'm back in Mrs. Movahead's van on the way to the city pool in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just know that if, you know, there's a song that you guys have been asking for, there's a very strong chance that someone here has been demanding it as well, because we all have pretty much the same taste. You guys have good taste in music, so we appreciate it. And we definitely, you know, listen to your guys' requests and do everything we can to make everybody happy. So, you know, hopefully with the next few song announcements that we'll have rolling out, you guys will be, you know, pretty happy with what we have coming up. We You're going to be really happy. Yeah. And we read Facebook, and Matt and I read the forums all of the time. So if, if you write there, like, someone's reading it, even if they're not necessarily responding. I lurk. Screen, screen yeah, we're good. Though. We're back. All right. Um, and then another question that people had was, um, so online multiplayer, what's going on? Why can't we have online? So Acto, his, his name is Lynn. He's probably going to beat me when I decide to play online because he's been asking my online name <laughs> or oh. whatever. And I, I, I don't know how to help him. So no, no, like for DC2, the online multiplayer. I'm a, yeah, I, I know a lot of people are asking for that, and I, I always respond kind of the same way. I'm a huge couch gaming advocate. Mm -hmm. I like being able to like nudge people next to me. <laughs> you know, like I, I miss the miss the days of you know sitting around with four player split screen and a bunch of people playing, okay. playing and enjoying the games together. And and I really wanted to focus that, or Matt and I really wanted to focus on that in in Dance Central because there there aren't too many games like that anymore, and that was really important uh, to us. And, uh, you know, that's not to say that we're, we're completely eliminating the idea of, you know, dancing online. There are some additional features. We've, we've taken the, our, I'm not like online dancing or online competition and see who, you know, we want you to be able to prove to your friends who is better. Right. <laughs> uh, we've taken, I think at the end of Dance Central 1, there was a mini leaderboard that happened after the song was, you know, how you did. We, we made sure to carve out space for that on um, song list now. Um, in the song list for Dance Central 2, there's a little mini leaderboard that shows the progress of songs on your friend, you know, all of your friends, seeing how you're doing in relation to them. Uh, you know, in ma in many ways, it's it's like an as it's an asynchronous online multiplayer, which which essentially is what simultaneous performance would be. You're just kind of watching someone else dance, and um, you know, with without that in room social pressure to perform, I you know I I kind of prefer the asynchronous competition with my friends um, rather than just you know, playing online with strangers. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's really what we've been focusing on now. And I, I love the friend leaderboard. It, it highlights 
you know, your, your score in yellow, is so you know how well you're doing, and every time you know that you've, uh, you know, gold starred the Humpty Dance, uh, you know that that's going to be showing up on your friend's song list until they can beat you, and that's pretty satisfying. It's kind of like every time they turn the game on, you're basically, you know, rubbing, rubbing their hand face in it a little bit. Frenchie's on. Frenchie's on? Yeah, Miss French mm. Kiss 13. Everyone say hi to Miss French Kiss 13. That's Frenchie Hernandez, one of our choreographers. So say hello. Hey, Frenchie. Hey, Frenchie. <laughs> And then you got uh, Tito, the Tito Scratch. Tito, <laughs> Tito Scratch, do it. <laughs> I did it for him so <laughs> he can <could> see. <laughs> nice. All right, so. Um, so you guys rock. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so people want to know also, a lot of like our super hardcore players who just like love really difficult songs. Like MMC. Is she on? Yes, she is. I saw hey MMC on either. <laughs> She is Aubrey, mm -hmm. and she's like, um, um, what you call it, Amelia? She reminds me of both characters, and she's really Hey! All right, so, um, you guys can either just maybe hint at what the most difficult song is in Dance Central 2, or even just how, like, you know, difficulty has changed, or what sorts of extra things you guys have been able to throw in in regard to, like, getting floor more thin, <laughs> but just complexity-wise. Oh, I remember the first time uh, I was in a meeting and they were showing off the choreo, like, on hard for DJ got a got us fallen in love, and <laughs> Naoko hit the floor, and I was just like, oh, we went to a different place this time. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> And uh, that's really fun. Um, that's what I'm really excited for some people. Well, that, that I, I choreographed it, and I have to say, I'm sorry to anybody <laughs> who's hitting that floor, like forgetting to hit the floor and going, wait, oh my I, God. It's just, I was just like, I just want to watch it happen on the, on the TV. <laughs> well, the, uh, the story <laughs> behind that is because um, I felt like, okay, we're like a family here, all the choreographers. So I felt like Ricardo and Devin were like being, um, you know, favored by our who I would call our mom, um, Naoko, you know, who's our producer, who where they got to hit the floor a bunch of times. I'm like, wait a minute. And they're always trying to leave the girls out when it's B-boy and B-girl in time and breaking and, you know, and such. So I was like, oh, I got something for you guys. So I was down in my office, and I was like, I want to hit the floor. And I'm pretty sure that Usher will hit the floor too. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to try it. So I did it, and it just so happens that Matt Fox walking by, and I was like, oh, no, I was a stretcher. I wasn't, that was, <laughs> I wasn't that's doing not, that. That's not for that song. I was stretching. That's, for, that's not even for this. And then I got back up, and he, like, walked to his office, and then I'm doing it again, hit the floor again, and then here comes Naoko. She's like, oh, that's, that's what you're going to do? I was like, yeah, um, I think. And she's like, <laughs> okay. Like, and so she waited for the core review. We did it, and they kept it, so I snuck it in. So, ha. Devin, Pat, Ricardo, if they sign in. Those are the other choreographers. <laughs> so we got a girl to get the floor, and I was like appreciative because we were able to throw that in. So. That's pretty cool. So I guess one question for you guys. Which songs are you most excited about for Dance Central 2? That is not the Humpty Dance. That's not the Humpty Dance, because that's, that's Jim's song. That's the answer. <laughs> Let's see What are your guys' favorite songs in the meantime? Okay, well, um, everybody that knows me knows. I love my choreography, but I love Satisfaction. <laughs> I love, I love Sandstorm. That is, like, my ultimate mm -hmm. favorite. I don't even know what happens when Sandstorm comes on, but Gone. Annette yeah. can tell you. Even though she whoops me, though, she does whoop me. Sorry, Chanel. She busts my, she, she busts me. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I think that I get so caught up in the energy of the song that I just, I lose it. And Marco's choreographed that, right? Marco's choreographed that. He, he went off. So kudos to my brother, Marco. I miss you, love you. Cool. Yeah, so Sandstorm's my favorite. Other, well, other than the Humpty <laughs> Dance, like, I, I do love Baby Got Back. We probably, heard. it's a testament that we've heard that 400 times over the past month. And I still love that song <laughs> like inherently and totally. Uh, Bulletproof's really fun. Um, yes. I really love LaRue, and I, I think that was an interesting choice for the game. Yes. Um, also one of the first things we had working. Um, so we spent a lot of time with that. That was really exciting. And I, I actually lo I love Montel Jordan's This Is How We Do It. That's <laughs> like 
Right. Of right. a song that was a place and time yes. uh, that just screams South, you know, South Central LA in the house party. It's, just, it, it's very visceral to me. I really love that song. Lisa, the, um, these guys back has the best finishing pose ever. Thank you, Rude Moss. You rock. <laughs> nice big kick at the end. Um, my favorite is Technologic because I really like Poppy. So. She never gets Love tired of it, you guys, ever. Like she will, she'll beat me on that too. I'll do that forever. It's so much fun. Um, all right, so I guess we're almost done. We kind of talked about this a little bit, but I guess one of the big questions we tend to put out there is, which crew are you? Um, so you guys watching, know. tell us which crew you are too. I mean, are we allowed to say that, you know, even if we had hands in, like, Lush, High Def, Flash, Bowl, and Type? Who would you like to be? Like, who who do you rep for? Um, you th okay, so you said Lush? We got Lush, Type. Lush, High Def, Flash, Forward, and Rip Type. So that we've hard. talked about so far. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, as of now, I would have to say I'm Flash, Forward. Okay. Because I'm like, you know, I do mm -hmm. all of these. We're going to make you go back in time. <laughs> yeah, and as much as Riptide reminds me of living on the beach in Florida, which was a long time ago, uh, I gotta go high def. Glitch, Glitch is my man. He is gonna be my man for the future. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'd have to agree with with high def. Also, I really like great clothing. So <laughs> they're my favorite. And Glitch is awesome. So let's see what we got. So is Bodhi. Okay. So what are people saying here? Oh, high def. Lots of. Two high defs, three or four riptides, a flash forward. People have already been praising Lush Crew higher up on the yeah. before the riptide launch. There we go. I'm rocking Ooh, Lush. Team, yeah. team yeah. Aubrey's gonna I'm start flowing out of the woodwork here. Coming out here. Hey, snack pack. Oh, uh, people are looking in the door. John Drake just walked and by and just shook his head at us when we were talking about songs. I just wanted to say I'm shocked that you did not mention Bodie. I did! I was in Bodie's. And Tito's on here, and he's watching. Uh, so because he's watching, you get a shout-out to him? I, yeah, I, that shout-out is Tito, but Bodie's right now. Bodie's my, my buddy. I love Bodie. Sorry, Tito! I love Bodie. If you guys couldn't <laughs> hear, uh, HMX Henry was uh, coming in here and giving Chanel problems about right. not I mean, talking to Bodie. I, I love hmm. Bodie, but we, hmm. we wouldn't work well in a crew together, hmm. well, you, you know. Yeah, I would so say you wouldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't work well in a crew. <laughs> well, I think that's about it for now. Um, so thank you guys for uh, joining us. Oh, for wait, 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 no. Wait, wait. no, we're sorry. <laughs> we have to go keep making awesome games for you guys. So, but, I still um, have to record my choral. Yeah. Mm. For there, were, there were three other questions. Oh, so sure, social yeah. sharing options we have to talk about later. Okay, yeah. I think. Um, but there was one about uh, filtering leaderboards. Oh, okay. um, there's a couple. There's, like, the leaderboards this time for are all for performance. Um, we can talk about this. They're, they're performance-based. All, all your scores for performance are counted. Dance battle isn't counted towards your leaderboards because there's the free-for-all uh, component that is kind of heavily dependent on the type of people in the room playing against you. Mm -hmm. Like, you could, you could set up a coat rack and play against a coat rack and do really well and put kind of compromise the leaderboard. So everything's sitting for, you know, sitting on the performance side. Uh, you can filter by solo. Uh, your co-op scores, anything you've logged with two people in the session, you can check that out. And then you can also filter through the whole, your aggregate career score for all of the DC2 disc songs. Um, you can sort, uh, you can sort and view different, you can see the top of the leaderboards, you can see your local location in the leaderboards, and you can sort and just see your friends, which is uh, really important to a lot of us. I gotta get friends. I need some e except for, well, you be careful. You'll add all of the harmonics QA department That's like right. I have, and it basically is like looking at the global leaderboards. I'm just kind <laughs> of there at the bottom. So I, they'll be able to mm -hmm. see when I like, I'm like, like failing my own song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh we'll no, we'll beat you at your own song. And then uh, someone had mentioned no flashcards mode. Um, we moved away from no flashcards mode in this uh, version because uh, primarily for free for all. Uh, all of the moves, you know, we wanted to get people to learn the names of the moves and the, what the moves looked like. Right. 
And if you hide your flashcards, you don't learn what the move cards look like, and free for all becomes incredibly difficult. You know, yeah. we had we had the, we had some of the QA guys playing with flashcards off, and they're they're having this crazy time playing free for all. And so we, you know we we um, you know turned flashcards on, and then they started playing that. You know, they're How doing often do you supposed to remember the Frenchies? Exactly. You know? Exactly. We got these moves are iconic. And Frenchie says, by the way, she has a crush on Mo. So I'm not the only person that's <laughs> in love with characters. I, <laughs> Drake is like this. Amelia's a pretty cool girl. You like her toe tattoo? Yes. That's me. That's pretty good. I do the toe tattoo. Mm -hmm. You do the So, do <laughs> um, you guys have anything else you want to add or talk about? Or? I think that's it. Super excited. Make sure you buy the game, man. October 25th in the U.S. Yay! And a little before and after elsewhere? Yep. Europe and Asia, October 21st, Japan, October 27th, U.S., Latin America, and Canada, October 25th. Yay! You're welcome. Tons of languages. Prince Landon, you rock. Tito Scratch, you rock. Everyone. Everyone Global. Rock. Day one, day two-ish. And Rude Moss. Big we'll shout out to Thank you. You guys rock. Great. I oh mean, our fans are sweet. Big shout out to really Logan good. Jenkins. Big shout out to uh, Enthusiasm. I love He's awesome. Thank you. Um, I was nervous before this. Oh, Great Tito Scratch Harmonics Rock. Thanks, Dave. You rock too. Borders IV, you rock. Hey. Keep, keep up the cosplay and the deviant art. We love it. We love it so much. Glitch, what's up? Thanks for coming and tuning in, man. Send us, uh, send me instructions on how to make that shirt. Oh, I know, right? He oh, did it with Kate. We're talking to him. Soon. We're talking to him. He yeah, did it with no, Kate. It's going to happen. It's going to be a thing. We're doing this. We love your shirt, Glitch. And is it Spirit Rack Snipe too? What big shout out to you too? Right. MMC, we love you. You rock. Thanks, guys. Carrie, you rock. Thanks, guys, so much. So we'll post um, this video up somewhere else for you guys to watch again and again and again and again, and then pass it along to anyone who might have missed this today. Um, and then if there's any other questions that sort of pop up even after this, we'll be sure to answer them and send them to you guys through Facebook, facebookcom slash Central. Dan Central Twitter at Dan underscore Central. Follow us. Love us. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the best. Mwah. Bye, guys.